Future perfect tense. The future perfect is a verb tense used for actions that will be completed before some other point in the future. The parade will have ended by the time he gets out of bed. At 8 o'clock I will have left. The future perfect tense is for talking about an action that will be completed between now and some point in the future. Typically, we use the future perfect tense to say that an event will happen before a certain time or before another event. The future perfect tense differs from simple future tense. These sentences will clarify the meaning. Simple future tense, when the sun rises, we will leave. Future perfect tense, when the sun rises, we will have left. Can you see the difference? The first sentence says that we will wait until the sun rises and then leave at that exact moment. The second sentence says we will leave before the sun rises at all. This comparison shows the most common reason that we use the future perfect tense to indicate that one future event will happen before another. More examples. By this time next week, she will have left for her trip. Three days from now, we will have finished our project. At midnight, the party will have ended. Will you have eaten already? When we use prepositions like by or before or the prepositional phrase by the time, we can often use the future perfect tense and simple future tense interchangeably because it is clear which event is happening before the other. Examples. Future perfect, I will have built the shed by Saturday. Simple future, I will build the shed by Saturday. Future perfect, ideally, he will have cooked the turkey before his sister arrives. Simple future, ideally, he will cook the turkey before his sister arrives. Future perfect, by the time winter comes, we will have stocked up on enough food. Simple future, by the time winter comes, we will stock up on enough food. Keep in mind that we do not use the future perfect tense if there is no stated deadline or if we aren't comparing future events. Instead, we use the simple future tense. For example, she will leave. Correct. She will have left. Incorrect. The deadline can be very specific 8 o'clock, or it can be vague next week. It can even depend on when something else happens after the parade ends. It just has to be some time in the future. Lastly, we only use the future perfect tense to refer to actions or states that will be completely finished in the future. If an action or state is not finished or is in progress, we use the future continuous tense or future perfect continuous tense. Examples. Future perfect tense, by sunset, I will have done my homework. You will be done working by sunset. Future continuous tense, by sunset, I will be doing my homework. You will be in the middle of work by sunset. Future perfect continuous tense, by sunset, I will have been doing my homework for two hours. When sunset comes, you will have finished two hours of work, but you will still continue to work after sunset as well. Future perfect tense formula. Subject plus will have plus past participle. To form the future perfect tense, we use the phrase will have followed by the past participle of the verb. For regular verbs, the past participle is a form of the verb that ends in ed or d. For example, the past participle of walk is walked. Some verbs also have a t variant in the past participle where the verb ends in t rather than ed. For example, the past participle of dream is dreamt and the past participle of spill is spilt. However, there are many irregular verbs whose past participle doesn't follow this rule. Making a negative future perfect construction is easy. Just insert not between will and have. We will not have eaten breakfast before we get to the airport tomorrow morning. The formula for asking a question in the future, perfect tense is will plus subject plus have plus past participle. Will you have eaten lunch already when we arrive?